Hello everyone, this is Kevin Davis from Social Traffic Lab, and in this video I wanted to share with you a solution to the upcoming changes on Facebook requiring uh, security, so uh, SSL certificate. So even if you are not hosting your own um, apps, you still need to be um, hosting your images used in those apps securely. Um, so we've actually done a bunch of research this last week trying to find a solution for our members of Social Traffic Lab to host their images uh, for free, uh, preferably. Um, and we found a lot of different uh, solutions out there. If we just Google uh, free secure image hosting, we'll see you know, some SSL pick and use.com, which I tested last night, which didn't work very well at all. Um, and some different solutions out there. There's also some paid ones out there. Uh, we just do, we take the free off. Um, there's also some paid ones that are specifically for like PayPal and auctions and different things like that. What we found out is actually probably the best solution is right under our nose here at Google. Um, Google actually has kind of a, a, uh, a hosting that a lot of people don't know about. It's actually under the more link here. And it's called Google Sites. And so I'm going to create a new account for Kevin at Social Traffic Lab. And I'm going to then go and create a site. And what I can do is um, I can just give it a, a blank template, give it a name of Let's say Facebook images. Let's try that. And it's not mature content. Everyone in the world can view it. Um, you could probably also, I haven't tested, but you could probably also say only people I specify can view the site. Um, and then what we're going to do is Red Lessee. Create the site. Let's see. Location is not available. So we'll say So you have to give it a unique name because everyone is on sites.google.com slash site. So we're going to try this one. And so now it's created a site for us. And so basically we have our home page and our site map. And what we're going to do now, let me just pause this so I can find the right. Okay, I think I found the right area. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go up to more actions. And then I'm gonna go down to manage site. And then we're gonna go to attachments under site content. And here we can actually upload files. So we're going to upload an image. Let's see if I can find a, a image out here. We'll go to my Dropbox here. And down to my folders. And we have some different images for uh, social traffic. Life. So let's say I have this arrow down image, just um, copy doodles. We open it and then we upload it. And now it's uploaded to my root location. So um, if I hover over the view, that's actually going to give me the link that I need. Um, so if I click view, it's going to come up with this huge string here that we don't need because it's going to actually um, track some different things through Google. Uh, but we can notice that this is secure. It has a lock here. It is secure. Um, now if we go back, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click on view and I'm going to copy link address. So I'm on Google Chrome right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a new window 
and paste in that. And I'm just going to take off the att redirects equals zero. So that will just give me my image link and it won't put that extra characters on the end. I click that and there is my secure image. So it is, uh, it has the lock and everything. And then we would just use this image in whatever app you're using up on Social Traffic Lab and you now have a secure image. This could also be used on other apps from our competitors at uh, Wildfire and, and stuff as well. Hopefully you found this valuable. Um, it's, it's sometimes surprising. Um, some of the most obvious solutions to a problem aren't the ones that aren't the ones that you've actually find at first. But luckily we've came around to this where we can actually just host uh, images up on Google Sites uh, to provide them up on Facebook as a secure image. Thanks a lot. This is Kevin Davis from Social Traffic Lab, and we'll see you soon.